Hi, everybody. I'm going to show you how to make a titration curve on Excel. It's super easy. I'm going to share my screen here. Okay, first thing that you need is your data. Now, notice in the A column, this is going to be the mills. It's going to be the amount of the titrant that you've delivered. Um, in my case, this was a sodium hydroxide that we were titrating to find the amount of acid in some grape juice. And we just did it one mill at a time. Okay, so you can see one mill all the way through 40 mils. And then for each mill, we, we recorded the pH. So you can see all of these pH values. What you're going to do is highlight both of these. Um, so that you have your y-axis and the x-axis. Now, the I'll show you. So I have my y-axis, x-axis. The mills are going to be the x-axis. The y-axis is going to be the pH. So you can see the first column has to be your x-axis mills. The second column has to be your pH, which is um, going to be that B column. That's the y-axis. If you go to insert, after you have that highlighted, and then we come over here to charts, you want the chart that says insert, scatter, X, Y, or bubble chart. Click on this and it gives you some options. You want the lines to connect. And so click the one that has the lines connecting. I click on that, beautiful. Look at that fabulous titration curve. And there's your equivalence point, woohoo. Now at this point, you wanna make it nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and label in this what we did for the titration. This was a um, titration of grape juice with sodium hydroxide. Now to get the labels on your axes, if you hit the plus sign, and notice how I got to the plus, plus sign. I'm gonna click off of this. I'm not on the graph. If you click on the graph, you see the little circles that come up and you'll get the plus sign in that top right hand corner, the chart elements. Click on that. I want to include axis titles. So if I click on this, it's going to populate the axis titles. So I click inside of here and my, there we go. My Y axis was pH. So I'm going to put pH there. My X axis, let's clean this up a little bit too is going to be the volume of the sodium hydroxide that we delivered. Okay, and nice, there you have it. Um, I strongly recommend as you do titrations in your, your gen chem classes, your college classes, whether it's high school or college, take the time, it does not take very much time, make really clean, pretty graphs, cut them out, and then you can uh, glue or tape them into your, um, into your lab notebooks. The professors and teachers will be impressed. All right, there you have it. Have a good day, you guys. Thanks for being here. Bye.